Hey everyone, welcome back to the Star Wars Popcast, episode 63, um, flying, flying solo. I do have a special guest co-host coming on in a moment, but uh, Lex and Patrick both out this weekend, uh, had some, some stuff, uh, some scheduling issues with some other stuff in their, uh, their personal lives, which is cool. I can, I can hold down the fort while they're away, uh, but like I said, I do have a special guest co-host he's been on the channel before he's been on my channel he's been on uh, i think he's made the rounds he's been on the jedi lex youtube channel he's been on uh patrick poptography's channel um he's got his own channel he's uh he's a, a big funko pop collector a, a huge star wars fan and uh making his way up the the ranks in the, the youtube uh world uh it is none other than pop the bounty collector ricky you're you're what's going on your boy yeah. is taking over right i know we were just talking Patrick didn't want we to talking, show up, uh, guess, yeah guess yeah what? I in. take over i take over the yeah. show that's what i do yeah yeah Se season two like you like we were discussing like doctor <laughs> who he's the new co-host <laughs> new co-host there we go that's yeah. what we do sorry Lex. he's just on, sorry, on, on every channel you're you're you want to let people know uh what your channel is all about, what you do over there, and where people can find you? Well, you guys can find me at Pop the Bounty Collector on YouTube, Instagram, X, TikTok. I do Star Wars content, uh, anything from reviews, spoilers, reaction videos. Uh, I go hunting. I'm doing conventions. Uh, I do it all, and I also do a lot of unboxings. Uh, and not just Funko Pops. Before it was just Funko Pops, but now I do Black Series helmets, lightsabers, puzzles. I go to garage sales. Anything that has to do with Star Wars, your boy has it. Star Wars content right here on this channel. Pop the body collector. Yeah, yeah, and and finding the deals at Ross still. Like I'm, yes. I'm really jealous of you guys down there. Like you guys are finding well, all the know, good deals. Two kids uh you know you have to pay rent and car payment yeah. and it's it, it but you still want to collect so your boy's really patient it's so funny yesterday literally i'm at gamestop and i'm seeing all the like they they still don't have the the anakin versus dooku it's still 30 bucks i asked yeah. the guy can you ring it up to see if it got marked down the guy's like nope it's still 29.99 i said all right well i'll just wait another month I'm waiting. I I don't, I can't wait the deals. I I, I can't yeah. I can't pay things in full price. If it's full price, I gotta push it away. Yeah, yeah. So so kind of related to that, where uh, I I tried to get a deal at Walmart. Um, it it probably would have been a great story for your other uh, your other podcast your podcast, right? The mm -hmm. uh, Rebel Collectors. Yeah. So I went into Walmart probably last month. And I saw the uh, the Dark Trooper, the Black Series figure, not not the ar archive one, but like the three and three quarter one when when they were still doing the three and three quarter inch uh, Black Series in the the red and black box, mm -hmm. just sitting on the shelf. I'm like, this thing should be like ninety nine cents on clearance or something because it's it's like seven years old by now, right? So they're like, no, no, it they they're like, no, no, it's it it's uh, it's twenty bucks. I'm like, oh, no. okay, I'm not I'm not paying for that. And it's still sitting on the shelf now. I go in there and I go check, and it's still sitting on the shelf. So, it's kind of like the uh, Lando. Lando figures yeah. now just went on clearance. Five, five years later, he's going to be on shelves. <laughs> now, nah, Lando. Man. Yeah, it, it's kind of yeah. like I always say the the infamous Drake meme. Drake, when when something's full price, you know, I just like push it away. But when something's cheap, I'm like, that's when I go. Yeah, hey. pa Patrick. Patrick in the chat. So I, I, I think, uh, I think it's Patrick's uh, Patrick Junior's uh, birthday. I think he was mentioning. So Ooh, happy okay. birthday to uh, Patrick Junior. Happy birthday, Patrick Junior. If uh, you guys are watching, yeah. Robbie hey, Wan in the house says, "What's up, guys? Hey, what's up, Robbie Wan Kenobi? What's going on?" And Mr. Celebrity here, eh? Mr. Oh. Mr. Star Wars Sith. I'm at oh, work. I'm at Ricky work. Sucks, Ricky that sucks. That is all. That's all. Wow. Uh, wow. Yeah. Somebody's, I mean, somebody's, our, in a, it's somebody's crazy, jealous. Right? Couldn't, somebody's couldn't get the day off. Here. Right? Yeah. Rolando. Rolando, hey, Rolando in says the hello. building. Senor Rolando. Hello. Hey, Rolando. How's it going? 
Niels in the the chat there. Hello there. Hey Niels. Yo, hello. Return of the Jodi. Joe. Hey Joe. Yo, yo, Return yo. of the Jode. Yeah. And Rolando again. Yeah. So glad you could come on um, and co-host this episode with me. So had another great episode of the Bad Batch uh, this past week. What do you think of it? Well, I know if I had to give it a rating, it falls like a 6.57. And and it was good. But again, like we just uh, we, we started off the episode exactly where we ended. Yeah. Like we she's in Tantus. Yeah, she gets to meet the little kids. They're just they have the M count just like her. But we didn't see anything like I expected with a name like Juggernaut. Like that was the name, right? Juggernaut was the yeah, last Juggernaut, episode. yeah. Yeah, I expected even though it's the tank, I expected like like Rex and Wolf being like, let's go, or maybe yeah. um Hunter contacting Rex and then they're meeting up with Wolf, they're talking, they say, Yo, we gotta go ahead, we gotta attack yeah. this place, we gotta get Omega, but I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, uh, we, we, we did see gunships. We only ships. got like three. Uh, yeah, we only got yeah gunships. Yeah, and and uh, and um, what's the guy's name with the beard again from the first oh, season? Uh, uh, oh, uh, Rampart. 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 Yeah, there you go. Rampart. Yeah. We did get to see Rampart, Rampart with the beard, exactly. right? So yeah, that's was cool. it Ug- Argnot? Argnot? The pigs? Oh yeah, the, the Argnot. Yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah. We got working to see with that. working with Rampart. So that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I. I there was one part of my reaction because when they were actually going to take down the the tank, and Rampart was in there, like you still forget like the the Bad Batch are like they're fast. They yeah. ran up, they're fast. They took out those troopers quick. It was so hilarious. The two troopers they were at the top of the tower. They're like you know they were act- looking for some action and they get stung to go to sleep. So that 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 was funny. But yeah, like I said, it was just it felt like a filler episode and yeah, i guess they're just kind of leaving everything towards the last three. yeah the, there was that moment i think they're slowly teasing people die like the the main batch i don't think omega will die but they're teasing these their their deaths like they tease clone uh um crosshair's death when he almost drowned uh yes. wrecker wrecker almost wrecker didn't almost make fell. it off of that so like they're, they're teasing all their deaths so i think it's gonna yeah, happen that, that one i season. thought wrecker was gonna go and i thought I was he was like, too oh Cause I was like, okay, there's, there's uh four at the time that was the f- fourth episode left. So I'm like, okay, yeah. record's gone. Then maybe the next episode it would be a uh, hunter or or crosshair. Or they'd probably say crosshair yeah. for last. So I'm like, yeah. okay, they're gonna check them off, but no, nah, he didn't. Yeah, they got maybe, maybe they're just gonna tease their deaths, and then the last episode will be like they're, they're gonna make some big sacrifice, getting Omega out. Off I'm not ready. There, so. I'm not ready. It sucks. It sucks no. that you know. That that's the the end game, you know yeah. that they're gonna end up dying. Yeah, but I still feel like I'm gonna be emotional. I do. Yeah, my reaction is gonna be so bad. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. McClunky cast says uh, hello there. Hello, McClunky. hello, McClunky. McClunky. There Ma- we go. McClunky. Yeah. <laughs> Try saying that three times fast. Uh, the, the the last episode progressed the story, but still felt like filler. Plenty of action in the episode, though. Yeah, absolutely. I Lots definitely of action, agree with you, yeah. Patrick. And, and and getting to see Omega now at Tantus and and we're we're kind of getting the a little more breadcrumbs, a few more breadcrumbs as to why she's so important now, right? Mm-hmm. So so that that part of the story is progressing. But we, but, we did yeah. see Emery. She paused for a moment. Yeah. So I think Emery is going to be that one that just like. Flips the switch and just let everybody leave. Everybody yeah, escape. I think you so. Know, it, it, I feel like, you know, I mean, I don't know. I just want to make sure. Are we allowed to curse in this uh, podcast? I mean, you know, as long as it's not too much of a curse it's word. Be, you know, we don't use the S You know what the, the word S is? It's going to be an S show <laughs> in the yeah. last episode. I just feel like you're going to see, like, our heads are going to be going back and forth on the screen. Like, what's going on? There's so many things. Are probably gonna happen in the last episode. In yeah, uh, a real shirt show. Yeah, you go. 
Uh, McClunky says, uh, I'm thinking this this secret operative clone is Ooh, Cody. Is Cody, yes. Wow. Yeah, no mention of Cody at all. No. No mention that Cody. Could you imagine, like... though? Because last season he was kind of like, kind of starting to turn back. Like, oh, mm -hmm. I, I did this and I regret it. But now it's like, now he's this uh, operative now. Ugh. Yeah. And and then so then if, if he's the, the special operative clone, right? Yeah. And then imagine him facing Rex. And facing Wolf, and what if it's like yeah. a battle, and yeah. you know, like they did something special to him, and he's like taking them both on in hand to hand combat? That would be crazy. Yeah, yeah, and we we don't hear about Cody in uh, the original trilogy era. One because like you know they hadn't come up with him when they filmed the original trilogy, but two like they have yet to make those kind of stories and make those stories that fill in those gaps as well. Too. And we, so and we don't, who knows? We don't he, hear about he Cody could survive. And right, yeah. No, no. So may, maybe, maybe, maybe Cody dies in this too. So who knows? Yeah. I, I think it's going to be a big, it's going to, it's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of losses. It's going to be pretty sad. Um, where I don't think anyone's ready for it. Nope. Yeah. Peak Obi-Wan says Obi hello there. Hello. Hello there. Uh, what if the secret op is Crosshair and the Crosshair we see is currently a clone Ooh. of Crosshair, which explains why his aim is off, etc. A, a copy of a copy is, isn't is good. good. That's, that is a uh, good theory. See, that is yeah, a I've, I've good been theory. hearing the theory that maybe the, the clone operative is the clone of Crosshair, but this is an, I, I like this better. Yeah, that I definitely yeah. like this better. Right? They couldn't get the same special abilities as Crosshair has, so that's why he's a horrible shot. So, yeah, but it was I funny. Like he's a horrible shot, right? But if you remember the last episode, uh, Rampart was gonna grab that gun to shoot yeah. him, and he shot it aim right there. It, it could be because it's close aim. Is yeah, that, that, that's still that was like, oh, okay, you can shoot really close then. Yeah, so. yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. There's only three episodes left, so it's going to be getting good. Uh, I think it's a clone of Crosshair with traits of the rest of the Bad Batch. Sliced, sliced in. into one. That could be. Yeah, all of them. Yeah. Them all in one. Yeah, because this this clone is crazy. And yeah. has, and if you notice the speed, like yeah, if you notice quick. the speed in the moment, he is quick. How did he get up to the uh, what is it? Um, uh, Where is it? Uh, Where Fat Mace Windu is? Oh, um, it begins with a P, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah. I but know he, what you climbed, mean. he climbed up really quick. Yeah, super quick. So I'm like, yeah. wow, he has speed. He definitely can aim and shoot. He knows how to hunt and trace people down because he was following them all the way. So that's pretty much like Hunter. That's Crosshair. Um, so he might have a slice of each one of them, definitely. Yeah, he could have. Yeah, it's very possible. Patrick says the last episode will be brought to you courtesy of Kleenex. <laughs> a special box right. of Bad Batch. Kleenex. Right? Yeah, <laughs> that, 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 they'll, they'll release it on May 4th, the the the, the Star Wars Kleenex. Yeah, and, and I can just see everybody now. They can be like grown adult men crying over cartoons. and like, you don't know. We invested yeah. time in Bad Batch. Yeah. It'll it'll be Clone Wars season seven over again. Yeah, That's it'll be emotional ride. Hello, yeah, but um, yeah. So we we got last week we uh we talked about some uh, Phantom Menace pops that uh, that they announced and they're starting to hit stores. So let's uh, let's jump into our pop report and we'll talk about that. No need to report that to him until we have something to report. Yeah, so the first one that uh, all of these brought to you by Disc Trackers, by the way, who, who, uh, if you don't follow Disc Trackers, they're they're a really great, reliable source for Star Wars rumors, Star Wars products coming out, like Funko products coming out. So definitely give them a follow. So shout out to them. Yeah, uh, I've been using Disc Tracker for years because I've been putting a lot of people on, especially when Disc Tracker drops links online when things go on sale or when things restock i always tell uh you know people that are new into pop collecting right. please follow this tracker because they're going to give you the information when it comes out what date and time 
They're gonna have mm-hmm. the links in the bio. You click the yeah. bio, it takes you to the links. I've gotten so many pops from this tracker, so definitely yeah. follow them. Yeah, especially if you're in the U.S. because that's where they're based too. So that's where they're picking mm-hmm. up a lot of this stuff. So this this is coming out the Boba Fett comic cover. This is the second comic cover of Boba Fett, but I think the fourth in the series. So I have the other one. I have the yellow one. It's up on the shelf up here. Um, I'm not going to pick this one up, but it, it does look cool. It does look cool. It does. I like the paint job in it. And so since you're an out-of-box collector, do you take it out of the clear case or you still leave it in the clear case? No. That, so I, I keep it in the clear case, but I, it's out of the cardboard. Like there's no cardboard. Mm, there's no cardboard. Stuff on around it. Yeah. So it's still in the clear case. I but think it, it's, uh, it's so dope, man. It's so dope. Yeah. I think Tony I, has. One I do of them. like it. Like it, it uh, I like how they're taking it right off of the um the comic cover, right? So like the color exactly. scheme and stuff like that. And that but, paint like, job. Yeah, the the retro series. I just I haven't really gotten into the retro series, like the individual regular size pops, because like especially the Phantom Menace wave, they they're just they they duplicated them and and just did a retro finish on them. So I, I don't really like those ones as much, but. I can get behind them when they do like like a comic cover. So if they did like a an updated Darth Maul comic cover and did the paint Ooh, application from the that, uh, the actual that comic, be, that would be cool. That would be fun. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't necessarily have to be a retro looking one. Just as long as it matches the cover, you know what I mean. So now is this mold the same mold as Boba Fett, or this is a new pose? I think it's the same mold. We were discussing it, or no, it, it might be a slightly different mold, because he's kind of holding his blaster over his arm. Yeah, bit. and yeah. and that position, I remember, that's like him. Is it uh, an empire, right? Yeah, like an empire. Yeah. He has that that pose. No, it's not an empire. Is it Return of the Jedi? I know he has a pose like that. I think it might be an empire when they're sitting in the uh, in Darth Vader surprises yeah. them he's been sitting and he just comes out and is gonna just just laying blaster just laying like this uh but i like that pose i like when they do stuff like this but it's a different pose i hate when they use the same the same one yeah just constantly repaint different ways. yeah 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 it's tough it's tough being a star wars collector because they, they do that a lot like i'm yes. looking at the bounty collection Boba Fett, and then like the comic one I have behind me on, on this side, and they're they're the same pose, just different paint applications to mm. it, right? But yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, but then a lot of uh, Phantom Menace pops have been popping up, no pun intended, in places <laughs> like Hot Topic and uh, like uh, I think we were discussing before um, uh, Box Lunch as well. They've been nice. popping up, so. Yeah, if you're if you're in the U.S. and and near a box lunch, definitely go check that out. So th- I think this was the f- or first one that got spotted. They actually picked it up, the uh, young Obi Wan, and it, it looks cool. I love the look of this one. Yeah, the young. I think we discussed it in our Rebel podcast. Me and uh, Star Wars Sif. Uh, this is one that we would definitely pick up. Um, not yeah. necessarily right now, because you know we me and Star Wars Sif love deals. Yeah, the clearance. On. Yep. Uh, but the uh, like he said in the back of the what was it the behind the scenes the Highlander hair, his yeah. Highlander spiky hair with the Padawan braid. Uh, I, yeah. I love it. So this this is yeah. definitely something that I will pick up. Yeah, the the thickest hair is uh, Highlander hair. That's what he said. I think something mm-hmm. like that, right? Yeah. No, but, yeah, but I, I like this. I like it because if you remember the old Alan McGinnis, uh, uh. Obi Wan pop, yeah, you know what? It's it is much the same the pose, right? Same pose, so yeah. it's so dope because you see a young one, and you could take the old one, and they're just same pose. Yeah, I'm just seeing where mine is. I think mine's a little too far down on my display, but yeah, it, it, it's very similar with the the mm-hmm. lightsaber off the one side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now that you mention that, because I, I, that's not something I noticed before, but yeah, you're you're absolutely right about that. Yeah. So this is clean. I love it. Yeah, I like that. So I'm I'm definitely getting this one. Uh, next, they they got uh, an in person look at uh, Jar Jar Watto, Darth Maul, and the Blood Fin. So when we were looking at the uh, the glam shots last week, it kind of looked like the Maul was 
in like a, a sideways box like the Grogu, but now it looks like it's just a big oversized box because mm. yeah, the, the base on it, it's not Patrick, Patrick found it today, I think it was. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So yeah, Patrick at Poptography, if you if you want to send us some pictures so we can see, because it the box looks huge. I don't think the base is that big for it. They could have squished it into a, a yeah. regular size box. <laughs> they could have. I felt like they could have made the sieve speeder. I think it's called the sieve speeder or whatever they're calling it now. Yeah. They could have made it a little bit bigger. A little bit yeah. bigger. Yeah. Yeah. It just looks funny because, like, I get it. The, the sieve speeder compared to Maul in the movie, it's quite small. But because the Funko Pop form, the head is so huge. The head's the same size as the speeder. <laughs> so... <laughs> And I, I think it was I think it was Tony who said that it looked like he it, it's a little kid on one of those mechanical rides right yes, you ride from the mall. grocery store. <laughs> yeah. But uh I think out of these three, I'll I will i will get the mall. I'll definitely get the mall and the jar jar. I like the jar jar. But the Watto, it's too similar to the uh yeah the exclusive from what like what was it, twenty sixteen or twenty nineteen or whatever it was? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just too yeah, similar it's, for me. It's uh, 20, 2019, yeah. The Chicago yeah. one looks very, very similar. Yeah, wow. yeah, it's just too similar for me. Stacy Byrne in the house. Hey, Stacy. Says the Bloodfin. Yes, that's what it is called on the box there. They never actually mentioned it in the in the movie, but I mean, I guess that's what it's called. So. Well, it is funny because I want to say I, I have it. Dang. I should actually go look for it now. I have the Hasbro figure. Oh, the, from back uh, in the yeah, day. okay, yeah, and from it's 99. called the, yeah, and it's called the Sis Feeder. Yeah, if I'm correct, it's called the Sis Feeder. But the Blood Fin, I think you're never right. Heard, never heard her call it Blood Fin before. Yeah, so. I think you're right. I think it was called the Sis Feeder back back in the day. Mm -hmm. But we can't, uh, the say, we can't say Sith now. We can't say uh, we can't say slave now. Come on, people, grow up, man. Right? <laughs> grow up. Let's not be let's not being too sensitive. Reason yeah. why it's called Slave One is because Django Fed was a slave. If you if yeah. you read the backstory, he was a slave. Yeah. So that's why it's called Slave One. And yeah. then, nah, and, nah. then was, was slave, you got it uh, called uh, Boba Fett Starship. Oh Lord. And then right. the slave Leia thing, like she yeah, was Hut a slave. Slayer Leia. Yeah. I mean she Hut Slayer a... sounds pretty badass too but like yeah. i don't yeah you're not using it in a um in a bad manner you know like yeah right but, but the only thing that i was and i think I, we talked about it in our podcast the Watto, even though the mold pretty much looks exactly the same just a little bit different the mm -hmm. paint looked different the paint yeah, it is a, like it is a sharper bluish. paint yeah it's more gloss a little bit yeah definitely different yeah, and then, almost um, like metallic, almost, now that you see it in this picture. Yeah, and, and you know what? That would have been kind of different if it was metallic, like if it was kind of like a numbered kind of edition Watto with metallic, that would have been kind of maybe okay, something different. Yeah. But um, the Jar Jar with the, the blue ball, uh, yeah, <laughs> that was just so funny. Right? I, I wish Let's it had cat cat uh, I wish it was more like a... Yes. Like um, uh, what they used to call movie moment. I really miss those movie moments. Yeah, so we could have had Captain Carpools riding that whatever kind of dinosaur or movie. whatever it was called. Yeah, and then just have Jar Jar swinging the blue ball. Then that's that movie scene. It's like yeah. Jar Jar uses the blue ball. Yeah, no, I don't have a boomer ball. <laughs> yeah, now Stacy said they wanted to call it by its class, the fire spray. Yeah, oh, uh, fire spray. Yes. Kurt, mm. Kurt Drive Yards Fire Spray class. Yeah. But still, I mean, he named it the Slave One, right? And then he in uh in Legends material, he also had the Slave Two, didn't he? Yeah. I believe. So mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but yeah, then uh then we got some uh in well realistic, like in-person images of these two here. So Anakin Skywalker, Padme. I think I'll pick them both up. The, the Anakin is different enough where I'd like it to sit in with my Phantom Menace pops. Yeah. I, 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 I don't have anywhere to get the uh, the N1 Starfighter. I don't have enough space for that one, so I'll get this one. 
I think eventually I, I will get every all of them because yeah. uh, Star Wars Episode One is kind of like near and dear in my heart. Yeah, it's close uh, to home, right? Yeah, it's so close to home. Yeah. So I definitely would get all of them looking for a good deal. I don't have the original Queen Amadala pop, which, right. you know, to this day, I mean, I could get it, but you're going to be paying a lot of money for it. But mm -hmm. it, it, it bothers me that I never got it back in the days. And I was like, should have got it. But right. what we notice is that the queen from the regular pops, she's sitting on the throne. Yeah. But then there's a different position or a different pose for the queen that's the target one. Yeah, which is I think it's the same sculpt as the original blue box. Yeah, the, so the, I will be getting, one. I don't think I'll be getting all of the target ones, but that queen, since she's not on the throne and she actually standing up, I think yeah. I'll get that one too as well. Yeah. And then here's a closer look. So here's a closer look at the Padme out of box. And the battle droid. The battle droid's probably the one that I'm most excited for because we just haven't gotten a battle droid from the mm -hmm. before. So, and I bet you, like anyone who's into army building with their Funko Pops, which it is a thing apparently. I I don't see it that often, but uh, they're gonna no, be yeah, I have, I, I have you, seen some people. With they're gonna be like customizing. Yeah, they're gonna be customizing the um the like painting them and doing different color schemes and, and selling them as customs and all sorts of crazy stuff, right? I can see it because in the battle droids, if I'm correct, there's two different, and I, and I don't know, you know, if they a commander or if there is a, um, what's it called? A captain, but there's a yellow one. There's a battle droid with a yellow head and there's a battle yeah. droid with like a burgundy reddish head. So I can yeah. see like somebody customizing these ones and putting one with yellow, one with burgundy, and then building it. So like definitely, and it looks better out of box. I guess the artwork, like you know, when we first the first picture we saw of it, I was making fun of it because it looked like a croissant. Yeah, the right head looked like a croissant, but in that picture that you just showed, it looks better out of box. Definitely, yeah, it definitely does. Box. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited about that one. Real good. Padme with the hair. Wow. Yeah. And we were talking uh, with Fish from K-Dog and Fish last weekend. And I can't remember. I can't remember if Lex or if it was Patrick. But I think a couple of them said that it looked a little boring. But really, like, in, in this outfit, she didn't really do too much, right? Like, she, mm -hmm. she wasn't doing a whole lot of, like, shooting blasters and stuff at this point in time. So it's a, it's a boring pose, but it, it suits her. So, yeah, like the only thing she would say is like, I think the queen would not agree with that. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> like that. That was, yeah, that was as as aggressive as uh, she got during that. So, yeah, but yeah. No, I'm yeah. I'm excited about these two for sure. Definitely, yeah. That battle droid body looks good. The whole body, yeah, one. yeah, yeah. And then here's an out of box uh, image of the mall on the bloodfin and the jar jar Ooh. swinging the blue ball. Yeah, so those look really awesome. <laughs> I like those. Darth Maul's head is so big. <laughs> it is, but like it the is. base, like the base underneath the speeder is not huge, so they could have fit it in a smaller box. They're yeah, just, they could have. yeah, they're just uh, want, they're charging us for the deluxe price because they can, right? So, in inflation, yeah, what? Uh, I'm getting the the cell shaded ones for my retro series. Yeah, I mean, I, mm. I, I'm not a big fan of them. Even the Darth Maul, like, I, I I don't love the the retro Darth Maul. It just it looks too weird to me. I I I got the retro wave, the first wave. Yeah, and then I that's it. I stopped. Yeah, yeah. I, and we I, need I, a destroyer been, droid. I think I stopped with a lot of the Target exclusives. Yeah, uh, you know, I I I don't know if I'm gonna ever pick up that Boba Ten, um, Target exclusive. Even though I think she's the one that comes with the shield. Um, yeah, but yeah, I don't know for some reason I kind of stopped with the Target exclusive. They need to get back to those, you know, con exclusives, numbered. Give us something different. Like I yeah. would, you know, and maybe maybe the you know since. There's more things to come because I'm like, 
the characters that they came out with. I'm like, where's the Darth Maul holographic? Yeah, ha- holographic Maul with his hands yeah, crossed with, the, like with the hood up and with yeah. the hood up. That would have been amazing, but maybe that is yeah. coming out and it's going to be, I don't know, yeah. San Diego Comic Con exclusive. But if, if it is, and then, you know, I apologize, Funko, if you're hearing this, I apologize. But if it there's doesn't, no, come out, there's no Captain Tarples, like you said, and there's no Captain, Boss Nass. No, no Boss, like, come on, Boss Nass? Yeah. You have to have a Boss Nass. Yeah. So there, there's yeah. some opportunities to miss. Uh, Celebration Anakin. Queen Amidala yeah. celebration where she's holding the big ball. Yeah. That could have been one. And like I said, celebration Anakin with the little with the little Jedi the braid. braid here at the that end. That would have been a better one to do than the Potter, the yes. not the pottery, so the, the N1 Starfighter one that we're looking at here. Like that would have been a, a better one to do than uh than this one here, just because like it, this is very similar to the pod racing one, like same pose. I'm still gonna get it because like I like the little details in his outfit on this one. And I like the helmet. The helmet and the is, the helmet's helmet nice is exactly design. the helmet that all the other pilots were wearing. So yeah, yeah. But there, there's like there's other characters they could have done. But I noticed we haven't gotten any um, exclusives. So like, there's no Entertainment Earth exclusive. There's no Amazon exclusive. There's no GameStop exclusive for this wave of Funko Pop. So, so maybe fingers crossed. Maybe way. we'll get a uh, yeah. Maybe we'll get a Boss Nass and and. Uh, like you said, a, a Queen Amidala from the end or a, a little Anakin from the end with the braid. Or even the um, the, Fed tra- the the Trade Federations. Come on. Yeah, yeah, I know. Those those two, right? Because they, they would make really great looking pops. Or a uh, Super Battle Droid. Super yeah. Battle Droid would be good because if you if you came out with the the regular Battle Droid and the Super Battle Droids, then we, you know, we could create that whole scene. Um, mm. and, and what was the other one? The droidicals, yeah, the, the droidicals, yeah, come out. yeah. They, they they need to build, you know, make that as well. So maybe, mm-hmm. just maybe, this is just maybe. wave Fingers one. Fingers crossed. And and I and you know, I think they should say that. I don't yeah. think they're gonna hurt sales. They should just say, "Hey, this is the first wave of episode one, pops. We got a second wave coming in summer, and then that that will yeah. get us like chatting. Yeah. Okay, we see these. What else is coming out? So. Oh, they got three. Yeah, I mean, I, I hope so. I hope I hope there's a wave two. Or or at least like a few exclusives. Cause even with the Ahsoka waves, we got what two two waves of Ahsoka series pops and there were exclusives with each one. Like mm-hmm. Captain Enoch was an exclusive. Um uh, what else was an exclusive? Sabine was an exclusive. Yeah, Sabine. There was a Sabine, there was a clone trooper. There were yeah, there was there was a few exclusives with uh I'm each sorry, of those do you waves, hear kids, so. do you hear scre- kids screaming in the background? I don't hear it, no. Uh, my neighbor's um, kids are out there having a good. It's a it's a bright sunny day here in Florida. So hey, it's always there. a bright sunny day down in Florida. You don't have to brag about it, Ricky. <laughs> but yeah, no these, these battle droids. Like he's got three of them. Like yeah. I'm, I'm tempted if I see them, I, I might pick up two. Well, you know how they give you those coupons sometimes. Like if you buy more incentive, if you buy a certain, yeah. amount, I can see me using a coupon for multiple ones. If if you know. Hot topic here in the U.S. and Buck Suns do sales from time yeah. to time. So, yeah, they they give you hot cash up here. I don't know. Do they do the hot cash down there in the states? Yeah, the they hot do. Topic. They do, eh? Stacy, yeah. I like that idea. The exclusive should yeah. be a boss ass with the globe. Yep. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Or or like like Ricky said, the do a scene where he's passing it to Queen Amidala. I'll buy that in a heartbeat. You know that yeah. scene, that scene where somebody's like smashing their credit card in the table. They're like, do do do, and they're handing yeah. it. Like, yeah, that scene. Would, and I would yeah. definitely take it out of the box, put it back here on the shelf because that scene is just, you know. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, you have that. Yeah, and that movie. music. <laughs> yeah. So, so I, I was watching. So, um, Ashton Sherritt, who does the uh, the music cues and stuff on his uh, YouTube channel. I think was it his channel I was watching and and it it the that music from the end at the celebration is just the the palpatine music sped up and in, in a different cue or a different oh, wow. uh, tone. Yeah. Like oh, the, from that. Return of the Jedi the mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the same it's, 
sped yeah, up. Yeah, it's sped up. Yeah, it's sped up in a cheery oh, I see that. tone. I see. Yeah, so it's pretty. Yeah, I, can't, I think that's where I saw it. Speaking of palps, pod racing Palpatine. Now that's pod racing. <laughs> now that's pod racing. Yeah. Millennium Workshop says good afternoon, everyone. Hey, good Millennium afternoon, Workshop. Millennium Workshop. JT Lovecraft. Yeah. Ricky Chris combo. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Starting is... something new here. <laughs> Sorry, Patrick. Sorry, Lex. I'm taking over. Taking over. Ne- next ne- next year, Ricky's on every channel, just <laughs> Everybody popping and co hosting everything. Build a scene, Qui Gon. With... Yeah. I mean, that could be cool. Ooh. Ah, uh, Ben, I hate it when quite like the Spider Man Sinister Six scene. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. That wouldn't be bad. That's a good good idea, Stacy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then last, we got an an out of box uh, image of the uh, the queen oh, herself. Nice. Like that. How amazing does that look? That looks beautiful. Beautiful yeah. out of the box. Yeah. And the the white paint on her face, like it, it almost looks like she's a uh, one of those porcelain dolls. And 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 I like how you can see the evolution, the change yeah. in the Funko because the original Funko, the original Queen of Madala, it just had that regular Funko body, Funko head, the eyes. Mm-hmm. But now this one looks perfect. Yeah, yeah. No, that, this one's a, a must have. I mean, the only thing with me, it would have been kind of dope if the little balls in the bottom of her dress were glow in the dark. So that would be cool. If yeah, I know Pat, Patrick it, would you know be all it. for that if it was like a lights and sounds <laughs> one. Yeah, it lit up and then it said like, like uh, you know, some some line like, um, what does she say? Oh, uh, uh like the I communication not, disruption some, thing. Something yeah. like I would not uh, something in yeah, the community well, not this, or something. Yeah, I don't know. I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah she, some cool some cool line from the beginning. Yeah, that'd be cool. Senator Palpatine, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we need. Another a hologram Palpatine too. Oh that yeah, really that'd be cool. But we don't so. even have a, po- a, a Senator Palpatine pop, right? No, we don't even have a Senator Palpatine. So even that. So how are you not going to put? One. How are you not going to put palps in 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 the twentieth? At so maybe you know Funko. Please, I know you listen to this podcast. You know, yeah. please tell me. Announce a wave two coming summer. That's all I need. Put episode yeah. one logo summer. Wave two, just yeah. so you could calm me down, and I don't talk about you in our podcast negatively, you know. But yeah, man, they, they failed us with the uh, with the attack of the clone stuff last year. They only gave us that Anakin with the two sabers. Come on, that was a fail there, and that's my favorite so. movie. Yeah, if you guys didn't know that Attack of the Clones you, is my you, favorite movie. You 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 pissed off Pop the ba- the bounty collector Funko. Good job. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'm changing my name Pop. now. <laughs> yeah, Pop, Pop says I, I have the glow in the dark emperor. Oh, nice! Yes, very cool. That glow in the dark emperor is fire. Yeah, I don't have that one. That one's pretty pricey too, so that's a good one. Uh, that's uh, that's all in, in I got Funko it from, news. Um, I got it from Australia. I forgot the the company in Australia. It's not oh, Aussie. like uh, pop culture, maybe pop culture. There you go. I got yeah. it for pop culture. It, it came with the glow in the dark sticker, but it didn't come with whatever US sticker it had. And I, I think right. it was 30, 30 bucks. That's not I mean, too bad. I, I said, I don't care. 30 bucks, glows in the dark. It's the same pop. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, let's uh, let's talk about, let's jump into our uh, our top five from the last episode of The Bad Batch and talk about which pops we want to see. Because it's not looking good. I don't think we're gonna get any bad batch pops, but we can we can dream. We like we like to dream and and hope and wish and all that stuff on the the pop cast here. Maybe, like Ricky said, maybe Funko will hear us and and make some uh, bad batch pops because we only have them from season one. We didn't uh, even stay. get the the updated suits. No, we didn't. So they could have been late. So it's so funny. You have Funko that at times is so lazy and take the same mold. Mm-hmm. And paint it a different color and then say, hey, this is something new. But yeah, yeah, you have an opportunity to do the bad batch, helmet or no helmet. Same molds, just repaint their suits. Yeah. And give it to us season two. Put Omega yeah. with a little hat on and the bow and arrow, and boom, season yeah. two. 
Yep. Sorry. Missed opportunity. Hire me. Yeah. I don't know. Don't go <laughs> right? Yeah. But uh yeah, let's jump into our uh, our top five. Magnificent, aren't they? Yeah, so let's uh let's take a look at the uh the episode. So do you want to go first, Ricky, or or we'll, we'll maybe we'll scroll through the episode and we'll just kind of because there were some like obviously we need this guy here if I can get yes. my to work. This guy right here. We definitely need the, the clone the clone operative. hundred percent. We need the clone operative. Yeah, we need Dr. Uh, Hemlock as well. Hemlock, definitely need Hemlock. Yeah. And then, this and this outfit here. This outfit, like, I'm getting like Han Solo from Solo, a Star Wars story vibes from this jacket. Yeah, but the jacket, the necklace, the hair tied yeah, in the, the long back. hair at the... Yeah. And she's a, she's a little bit taller. A little bit. Not too much. You know, yeah. she's a little bit taller. But definitely yeah. compared to the first pop that they gave us, sure. yeah. So that yeah. that I would want that. But yeah, the operative. Look at look at the operative with the gun in the back, the backpack. The yeah, he does have some red on the yeah. um, yeah, on his kind of arm there. Oh no, that's just a light. It, it kind of looked like some red. It's just from the light. These guys too. These uh, these super super commandos? commandos. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's again, you could be. Take the super commander that they have the GameStop exclusive and just paint it all. Yeah, and just paint it all white. Yeah, exactly. Laziness. We're talking about laziness. Here you go. We could have done that, but you know, definitely yeah. need some super commandos in there. Yeah, La laziness. Like you could have released a lazy pop. I I may or may not have bought it, but at least it would be out there for people who want to get it. Which is it's so. very surprising. So before, and this is many. I want to say many years ago because Avengers, how long ago Avengers was? Oh, that was the Avengers Endgame ago. was like 2019, maybe? Yeah, I think so. so it came, came out when Solo came out and Solo was, uh, yeah. So Funko, I believe at the time, used to get um, uh, Advantage. Like they used to be able to see the characters from movies yeah. and shows and made the pops. But sometimes some of those pops would leak before the movie release. Yeah. And and then the other uh, movie companies would be upset because it's like you just basically gave out some characters that we wanted to keep a secret. Yeah. But now it's like there's now we don't nothing get dropping. Nothing is dropping with Bad Batch. Like this should have been a wave of pops, at least one wave for season three. Yeah. 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 So I mean but, uh, Emery, that's one thing because like Emery, yes. Emery mm -hmm. would be great. Because I, I love the glasses, like the, those red yes. glasses. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you could do Emery. But yeah, no, I was going to say, like, Mandalorian Season 1. Like, we, we had the first wave. It was only four pops. I think it was, like, Mando, Quill, uh, the, cl the Client. Was he on the first wave, or was it Cara Dune and Grief Karga? There were, like, four... Funko Pop. Yeah, I think Karga and Dune and so then, uh, Mando. It's a, yeah, the first it, Mando it, pop it didn't came spoil out, anyone. But the yeah. first Mando it pop came out before the show. The summer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so but like, like it, it didn't spoil anything for the show. Like it, it showed you stuff that was in the trailer because I think Quill was in the trailer and I think mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Mando obviously was in the trailer for the show. So like it didn't spoil anything. Just give us a wave of like four Funko Pops from whatever series is coming out, you're not spoiling anything. And then, you know, like we, you do something kind of cool. You could do a Hemlock and Emery two-pack. Yeah, that'd be very cool. I'll buy it with the background of of, of the the vault or whatever. Yeah. You know, this scene right they, here. They need something to replace those uh, the two-packs that they've been doing with the, the GameStop gaming grades. Mm -hmm. the, uh, or not the gaming grades, the, uh, the Clone Wars two-packs. Because eventually Actually, they're going to run out of people to do so are they going to dive into other movies or shows and grab people from like like duels from those things i hope you, so you could do uh um an omega and crosshair they've been really close yeah. to that this season you could yeah. do a two pack of them but there's so yeah. many pops they could do like i i would definitely buy an emery pop 
I think she's yeah, Anna Marie cool Pop. Character, Omega, Omega's oldest sister. Yeah, Crosshair from the, from this season too, because like, oh the, the helmet. Uh, yeah, because the the helmetless one we have, I think he's got his hair. Does he not? Mm-hmm. So like this one, he doesn't have any hair, right? And and if they sculpted that indent, he would almost look like Snoke. Like if we took mm. the smoke. <laughs> yeah, he does have that smoke face. <laughs> Cleans up, up so it's not so uh, old looking. He's like a young Snoke. But like, pretty why much. don't we have um, EZ as well? Or uh, Oh, that would uh, be nice. A yeah, nice what's the girl's pop. name? I can never remember her name. Uh, Wanda Fee, Sykes. Fee? <laughs> yeah, Fee? Yeah, Wanda Fee? Sykes character. Fee? Yeah, I Is think it's Fee. Fee or... B, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But she knew that you did. You saw that you remember that scene. Malachith where... says, What's up? Hey, Ricky what's in the building. Going on, hey, Malachith. Ricky's in the building. Yes, sir. I'm taking yeah. over. Yeah, taking Malachith over. Taking over. Val. 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 Oh, it's not her yeah. name. Why, why do I think Fee? Who's Fee? Fee's in a different character, isn't it? Is there a Fee? I, I was thinking of Fee for some reason. Is it Val? Now, now I gotta look it yeah, up. Val, it's gonna bother yeah. me. Yeah, totally right, Val. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tony's probably watching it, the podcast just... at work, and he's like, "Come on, Ricky, it's Val." <laughs> 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 you know what? I don't. I don't know. As I'm getting older, I'm getting bad with names. I'm just like, yeah. That, that's that. That character from that show. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what is that show again? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm horrible with that too. Uh, but yeah, definitely easy would be a uh, dope pop to have. Yeah, easy would be a good one. Easy would be an easy choice. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is, fee. There. it is fee. It is fee. It is fee. It is fee. Oh, so it's not Val. Val, Val Val's Val's from Solo. Mm. I think you're getting it mixed up. Yeah, ex girlfriend. Ex girlfriend. Yeah, it is fee. <laughs> it is fee. I need. I need to uh, do a fan battle. Yeah, you do, Stacy. So I didn't do one today because uh, both my guests, um, one was sick and one just kind of got too busy with uh, other things as well. So I had to postpone that. But yeah, de definitely. Uh, let me know if you want to come on the fan battle, Stacy. I will have you on. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So it is fee. I just wanted to double check because I think Val doesn't sound right either. But yeah, but we do need one of a fee and one of easy as well. Um, yeah, lot lots of characters. Like here we go, Rampart. We didn't get a Rampart for season two. Give it, give us the updated Rampart, and you could even do like the the two pack with the the Hugnot. Does it? it show? Yeah, the Hugnot. Mm -hmm. Right, Hugnots make pretty good pops. Like we've gotten Quill. Which I don't have. I don't have Quill in my collection, but we have the Ugnot that came in the three pack from Empire Strikes Back. Oh yeah. Or even with the helmets on, they look pretty cool. I I doubt they'll do it, but nah, they would hope. Do it. Well, no. <laughs> if you remember back in the day, Star Wars carry side characters that would be in the movie for two minutes, they made a bunch. Oh of yeah, them. right. They did yeah. one of the uh, the silver so the 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 crystal fox from uh, the Last Jedi. <laughs> Yeah. So side characters, anything is possible. They did the frog lady. I'm still waiting for the her husband, Frogman, to come out. <laughs> right at the end of the movie, she made it to her husband. Yeah. Or I'm still waiting for that. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. Yeah. But yeah, you're you're absolutely right. Like Wrecker with the updated armor, the the little bit of yellow and brown instead of the mm -hmm. uh the gray and the red, right? So missed opportunity. For sure. Um, yeah, Crosshair is pretty much the same. So you, from from this uh, season, but we didn't get like the black, black uh, Imperial. There's a not there. We didn't get the, like the black Imperial Crosshair from season two. No, that would right? be nice. Like, yeah, there's the Ugnot. So they they could do the Ugnot. They probably won't, but no. Or or even like. I don't These even know if we those, those helmets. Yeah. yeah, I don't even know if we mentioned it in any of our um, top fives. But 
these stormtroopers, because this is kind of like a transition phase for the Empire, these stormtroopers. Yeah, because they kind of have like still like the clone uh, phase yeah. two. Um, yeah. But yeah, transition into troopers. Yeah, we don't have those. And I'm surprised no. we don't have that pop, that pop already. Yeah. So that would be a good one. Like you, you can do the bad batch in some different poses too. Like you can do an updated hunter with the uh, the binoculars here, where he's looking through the binoculars. Give him the updated armor. That would yeah, be great. Like, like, like I said, they could they could really, you know, be lazy but get more money. The repaint, yeah, they could, and then do the repaint with helmet on, and do the exclusive with helmet off. Boom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rampart. Give us a rampart. I'm okay with that. Like, watch, they, they give us, like, this guy here, the Imperial with the beard in the uh, <laughs> command center. That'll be, like, the, the, the Funko Pop we get from the uh, the Bad Batch as an exclusive. Because what, we got, what you know, did we get? My we number got, uh, one, though, my number one from this episode, a Pop Ride gunship. Oh, yeah. When I saw the gunships in the episode, I said, okay, that right? made the episode right there. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Did it see do you, do you, would you rather have the gunship from from the bad batch or just have it like classic attack of the clones? I I know the answer. Attack of the clones with the the clone pilot head. You already know. You yeah. know, I, and I think uh you know we discussed it on our podcast uh, what would be my dream would be a pop ride gunship with yeah. the clone troopers and Yoda hanging yeah. by the side. That would be my dream pop ride right there. Yeah, he's not wrong. Stacy's not wrong. Like they, they do kind of have a Ralph McQuarrie stormtrooper yes. look to them. Mm-hmm. Yep. Which, which is a nice nod to Ralph McQuarrie. I mean, they made Ralph McQuarrie. Uh, Han Solo and Luke and Vader, like, might as well go ahead and make the trooper. And you know what? I don't know. Maybe it's a bit of a stretch, but Omega and her outfit kind of looks like, like the the female Luke Skywalker concept. <laughs> yeah, in a way. In a way, yes. I was like looking at that when it's I kind first of a stretch. And I'm like, yeah, it's kind of a stretch. Like Why does this say Luke? I mean, it looks like a female. Yeah. Gregor? Yeah, we need a Gregor. Oh, yes. Gregor Gregor's a good looking clone. Like he's probably like the he's got the best hair out of all the clones, I think. <laughs> um yeah, Emery. But then if we can get like these kids too. A three pack, they probably poor, won't do it. Poor but. kid, man. Especially that kid, that kid in the green, man. That kid in the green is gonna turn to be a Sith. Yeah, <laughs> he was, yeah. Last right. episode, he looked evil. Yeah, I think definitely so. a hemlock. If you just had a hemlock by itself, that would be a pop I would get. Yeah, and you, it doesn't have to be a crazy pose. You have him with the hand behind the back like that, yeah, like yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Give us a hemlock. He's a great villain. That's that's one thing I got to say about him. In, in this uh, in this season, he's a he's a great villain. But it, it's again, no Bad Batch has been released at all. And how no. we not have an updated Omega? You need an updated yeah, Omega. Right? Yeah. yeah. You you at least need the five main members, or I guess the four because we don't have tech this season. Mm-hmm. But you need you need the 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 main crew and Omega with like the mm-hmm. the crossbow or something, right? Or that. That new blaster now that she has, that kind of looks like um, Boba, Fett's, Boba blaster. Fett's blaster with the with the green bow on the front. So you need that. But they they got to give us at least those. But I don't know. It's 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 seeming very unlikely, especially with the acolyte coming out like a month in like less than two months now. Well, I mean, they did um, drop a second wave of Mando. Season three pops. Yeah. Like six yeah, months. That was way overdue though. <laughs> yeah. So it's not it's not impossible, but it's very unlikely. Because I think we'll probably get acolyte pops before we get that stuff. Probably, yeah. 
And, and you yeah. know what I'm really interested in to see what Star Wars pops they drop for San Diego Comic Con. San Diego yeah. Comic Con is in August. Uh, and yeah. obviously there'll there'll be more announcements for Funko Pops from now until August, but usually the good good yeah. stuff they save for San Diego. Yeah, and then with May fourth, like last last year, May fourth had all the hyperspace heroes. It had the big, um, Vader. Yeah, the the gaming greats with the uh, the Grievous with the the mask that's all broken off on one side, and it had uh, what did it have? What's that Delta Squad fixer in the green, and it mm-hmm. had a couple other clone troopers. So we got a whole we got spoiled last May fourth, so we better get spoiled this May fourth as well. But uh, yeah, no, we de- we definitely need some more pops. Um, so that's it for our top five. Looking forward to the last three episodes because they're going to be hopefully they're going to be bangers. There. Um, yeah. Yeah. I did want to talk to you about uh, a certain pop that you have because I picked up. I recently picked up a knowingly. I picked up a fake Funko Pop, and and a lot of you may have seen the uh, review for it or the. Uh, the short on my channel where I, I burnt the box. So <laughs> I, yeah. Talking about this guy here, the captain Rex. So this guy is like looking at him. I don't know. Being, being a, an owner of the legit Rex, how does this one look to you? Like, like I know, I know the spring for me, like the spring underneath on the is definitely, it, well, not so much. I mean, the spring does look a little bit light. Uh, I guess you could say the spring in this one is like more chrome shiny. Yeah, that one's a but like the neck chrome. doesn't look like it's threaded. Like I think the the regular the real Funko Pops and necks are a bit threaded. This but I have the legit one right here. So if you look at the paint yeah. job, it looks like mine's is a little bit darker. Yeah, and the the visor on yours is like almost yeah. Hmm. And then if you want to look under the neck right here, you see like this is a little bit more chrome. Yeah, and the spring, yeah. But it, like I said in my review, like it's a pretty yeah. It's a, good like, for, if you were to put it in in with your the, in your collection, I got the neck marks, yeah. And like I'm not planning on selling it, so and like I, yeah, how I do if it, you like put I, it in there, it would be hard to tell. Yeah, you you really have to inze- examine it like up close. <laughs> like, crap, Stacey said I crapped my pants. Yeah, right you. <laughs> yeah, I did that on purpose. I posted that video before I posted the review. Yeah, but like he see like that's what I do. I I, put, I so I put the numbers on the bottom of my Funko Pop. So like when I open them up, so I know which number it is. So like this is a Grogu mm-hmm. with the Enzelin, right? So I just put the number so I know which one it is. So I. I did that. I I did that, but I put made, made sure it's. <laughs> I know it's the fake. It's only poor fake. Yeah, like I I'm, I know I'm not gonna get the real one because it, it's way out of my price range. I did the same with the Amadala that I got. So, but yeah, no, it's it's a pretty convincing pop though. Like it it looks. Yeah, because like you know. yeah. Go to the side. I don't see. Yeah. Right, like it looks pretty convincing. Like if I saw the two of these and I didn't know what to look for, I would, I would think it's a real pop. But yeah, this this one definitely like that. It's not as low. Like it's higher than, than yours. Yours is sitting a little bit lower. That could have been. Yeah, mine's just sitting definitely. Like a stiffer a bit spring, lower. maybe. Yeah, like this one's got. Look at the bobble on this guy. Bobbles, just like yeah. the place. Yeah, but. So this is proof that I do open my Funko Pops, guys. Yeah, Just he puts it in the box afterwards. He box. puts it back in the box. Yeah. I put it back in the box. You know, it goes back to his home. You know, <laughs> but you know, whenever I want to do a comparison video or just, you know, take oh, it out, give it a kiss. Like, Stacey give it a kiss. said, look at the earpiece. Oh, the earpiece? What's different about the earpiece? Yeah. I'm just kind of looking. Is it the color? Or is it like the... I think just it might be just the lighting. Yours is a little bit darker. Mine's a little bit lighter, yeah. but I just think it's just the light in the room. It could be. It doesn't really look that different. different. Does it yeah, look different? It, it looks pretty similar to me. Yeah, it looks it looks pretty similar to me. 
Oh, other side, he says. On this side. You see it on this side. On this side? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yours is a little yeah, bit thicker lines. and darker? Yeah, a little bit, eh? My, the lines are thicker. Yeah, thicker. Okay. Yeah. Well, there goes the, okay. the, the box. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it does look a little, little bit thicker, but like... It doesn't really, even mm -hmm. the vents, I guess, even the, the vent marks on the side here are, are a little bit thicker than yours, too. Not closer, too much. Closer look to the front. Yeah. yeah. Right. And it's pretty convincing. Yeah. I'm not I, I'm not saying like go out and buy these and try and sell them for real ones, because that's I'm I'm not cool with that, but if if you're okay having a fake, I think it's it's perfectly fine in my opinion. Um, but, I do uh, have a fake um, Vegeta pop, and it was actually a custom. So yeah. there is this Vegeta planet Arlia, Arla, or something like that. And um, it goes for, the last time I saw, almost, almost $15,000. And crazy. I could have got yeah. that uh, pop for 120 But at the time, I was fairly new into Funko Pop, and I'm like, I'm not paying $120. For a Funko yeah. Pop, if I knew what I knew now, I would have paid the one twenty. But I paid yeah. somebody to get a custom. They did even the box in the same way, same con sticker. It just looks perfect. But I know it's fake. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I wanted it part of my collection, and it's just to have every different Vegeta. You know, it's in my collection, so I do have yeah. one fake pop. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's a, it's exactly what Stacy said. For personal collection, it's fine. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, that, that'll do it for this week's episode of the Star Wars podcast. Uh, usually I would be asking my co-hosts uh, where people can find them. Um, but Ricky, where, where can people find you uh, normally when you're not coming on everyone's channels and, and taking over their channels? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what, what, again, what's your channel all about? Where can they find you? Again, thank you guys for letting me be a part of your Saturday. I appreciate it and taking the time. Shout out to everybody in the comments. Uh, you can find me and Pop the Bounty Collector on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, X, Twitter, whatever you want to call it. Star Wars content, unboxings, spoilers, reactions, cons, anything that has to do with Star Wars, your boy is there. And, you know, you might want to subscribe to my channel. Because I will be going to Star Wars Celebration in 2025 in Japan. So I will have a lot of con footage for you guys. For those folks that cannot be going to Japan, you can subscribe to your boy. And you can live through the experience of Star Wars Celebration Japan 2025. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know I will because I won't be making the trip to Japan. So <laughs> it's a little bit out of my price range. But yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be watching. Uh, I'll put Ricky's information down in the description below for you guys to go and subscribe to him and follow him on uh, social media as well. Uh, and you can find me on my channel when I'm not on the podcast talking all things Star Wars Funko Pops. You can find me on Seriously Star Wars, doing weekly Star Wars reviews, Funko Pops, and getting into uh, getting into Lego. A sneak little sneak peek there for Ooh. you uh, who are watching. So, um, yeah, follow me on there. Subscribe. I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers and we'll be doing a giveaway so definitely subscribe there and uh we will see everyone in the next episode